Today I'm going to walk you through creating augmented reality video experiences. And I'm going to give you three examples of how you can go about building uh, video experiences uh, that feature augmented reality or vice versa. And uh, just important things that uh, you can consider when planning your campaign. I've already created three projects with those three examples in the uh, augmented uh, reality platform that we have. Go ahead and look at all their videos just to see how you can get started. I will paste the link below also to our general blog about setting up an account here. And we can just jump straight into those different types of video experiences. So the first experience I want to show you is uh, just an example from our customer. And the customer uh, sells chocolates. So this is a cover of a chocolate box. And uh, they have this uh, really awesome cover. And they decided to add a video, a song that is also about alphabet. We can maybe have guess that this is uh, something to do with alphabet. And the song is also about alphabet. So they decide to add it on top of it. Regardless of the reason why, this is an example actually of something that works really great, but also in some instances it may represent something that you have thought of at separate times. So for example, you may have found a video that's in your archive that would really greatly complement a campaign that you're doing now. Maybe you could add it to the poster, but it's a different style and also it's different size and you know, when it comes to augmented reality, there's really no rules. You can still combine them. And that's what this customer did. So they just uh, took this video and decided where should we place it on our box, uh, which I'll do here as well as an example, and, uh, and brought it to life. So just now we can have a look at the video. an example of a project that you can create combining two different assets so a poster that you may have created just now and a video that was created a while back so it doesn't matter that it's uh, different sizes it's still okay and it's still fine as long as you're happy with how it looks the next example that I want to show you is a bit different and uh, it is also combining two assets that were uh, prepared at separate times, as in the previous example. But in this instance, I'm not saying that it was the case, but it may have been the case that the person who was in charge of this project was a bit more of a perfectionist, so they wanted it seemed like actually the magazine cover comes to life. So instead of just combining the video that they had and placing it anywhere, you know, here, and just leaving it as it is on top of the cover, they decided to create a video that is the same size as the magazine to give an effect and that uh, it actually comes to life. So you see that the video actually that they had originally is this size, but it's being implemented within a wider frame with an animation. So I'll show you what it looks like in um, different uh, programs. So this is the marker image and here is a video with an animation. We can just quickly have a look. So it starts with the same look as the magazine cover and then it smoothly transforms into the video file that we actually have. So this is a solution you can use. Uh, maybe you will need some uh, editing help. But for sure it is a really cool example of how you can use existing content, add something new and create an awesome experience. So we can have a look now at how it looks in augmented reality. Awesome. So that was a cool example of how you can combine maybe archived materials with some new projects that you're running and it uh, you know still looks like the actual content comes to life so it's a really really smooth transition and a great example now i'm going to show you the third level of expertise in augmented reality which is when you start uh, with the end in mind i'm going to use another client's example so we worked on a project for a woman's magazine 
and you will see that this is the marked image. Actually, at the same time, it also serves, uh, serves as a still for the video. So this is actually the video content. So if we pause it, we see that it starts the same as the marker image looks, right? So there is actually perfect, perfect example of how you can create an effect when somebody comes to life, uh, something, somebody, exactly in this uh, instance, it is somebody coming to life. So yes, yeah, so that's how the video looks. So it's the first still. We just uh, pull it over. It is also the same size of, as the magazine cover itself. So it looks really good in real life. And I will include an example of how it looks in augmented reality just now. So we watched three examples of how we can go about creating augmented reality video experiences. One where you start with the end in mind and two where you either combine something existing or add a little bit of the old and the new together. I think uh, this can give you some great food for thought, but also if you want it for your experience to look really smooth, you don't really need to kind of work for a magazine and have a professional photographer or, you know, videographer to create these smooth transitions. All you can do is even record a video on your mobile phone, screen grab the first frame, and then create it into a marker image and bring it to life. And that's how simple really it is, but it is uh, does depend at which le level you're operating. So if it's like a postcard for your family member, you can just use your mobile and do everything, so it's completely fine. But anyways, if you have any questions or need help setting up, drop us a comment below or reach out to us on our website, and we'll... See each other again on the next tutorial. Thanks.